Hey guys, how's it going? And welcome back to another Motivational Monday. Yeah, that's right. That's what this video is all about. As you guys can see, we got a full house, got all kinds of shit. So let me start uh, getting ready and get the hell out of here um, so we can have our Monday Motivational walk and talk. All right, guys. Well, I think I'm gonna be needing a new a new bag by the time I'm getting home today. I filled this bag up so much with so much stuff that I'm uh, I'm literally feeling it right now. So today's Monday motivation is gonna be literally just do it. All right. No matter how how uh, how it might seem, how impossible it might seem for you to just go out and do it. You just got to go out and do it. Sometimes oh, the only thing left for you to do is to do it. You know, it's enough talking, enough planning, enough figuring it out, enough uh, what am I going to do, blah, blah, blah. Sometimes you just got to go out and just fucking finally do it. So, for example, the reason that I'm probably going to need a new bag by the time I get home today is because, well, I got my bag full of stuff that I've needed to buy for a very long time. The reason I haven't bought it has been simply because, well, it's been so fucking heavy and they're just so bulky that I've been uh, kind of like putting it off and putting it off and putting it off. And now I'm at a point where I needed to come get it no matter what. And um, I also needed to get other stuff. And so now I'm like, I can barely uh, fucking move. I got like a thousand pounds of shit in my back and I got my hands. And then uh, my girlfriend, she literally took one of my bags uh, the other day. So now I'm like, I had to pack it even tighter. But anyways, the point is, you're, it's never going to be the right time for you to do something. You know, it, it, you know, a lot of a lot of people just don't do shit or don't do do anything at all, just because they're waiting for the right time, for the right moment for the right everything even right now i'm just trying to cross the street trying to figure out you know what the best time the best moment and at the end of the day you just got to go do it and uh the, the seas will part you know things will part for you um the more you sit there and just fucking pout and uh plan and uh procrastinate and do all that shit the less the less uh the less likely you're actually going to do it and that's it like today's Monday motivation is really just stemming from more of a conversation I was having with a few friends today literally um, some good friends some business partners you know just randomly but you know at the end of the day pretty much all the conversations you know were just kind of leading up to the fact that um, you know everyone has something to do you know a big project a new a new um damn it sorry a, yeah a new project or a new business deal or a new relationship or what have you and um you know people are just always very 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 hesitant to go with it because they're afraid of uh you know they're just afraid you know whether they're afraid of the outcome whether it's going to be good or bad they're afraid of the, the, the they're afraid of going through the situation you know like right now you know look you see look how Look how big this fucking bag is. I gotta see if I can keep walking straight so I don't fuck up my back too much. But, you know, again, you know, I'm, I'm literally carrying a lot of bottles of water and really bulky shit that, again, you know, just coming down to it where at the end of the day, I just had to, you know, bite the bullet and do it. And um, once you finally do it, it's gonna be fine. So right now, I'm finally doing it. I'm invested in this um, carrying of all this fucking weight. And I'm just gonna deal with the consequences as they come. What are the consequences? Probably nothing. I'm probably thinking I'm gonna fuck up my back and do all this shit, but you know, most likely I'll be fine. I'll be totally fine. And uh, I'll get home and I'll be able to, I would have saved a lot of money by doing it myself. I would have uh, finally gotten the things that I need and so on and so forth. So look, it's just like when I was talking to my friends about like a business deal or a new, let me see if I can switch arms real quick. Or a new, uh, 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 we got this right. Or a new, um, 
you know, um, business relationship or a new project or what have you. You know, a lot of times, you know, people just don't want to do things because, again, you know, they're just, hold on, hold on. You know, they're just, again, very hesitant to go through with it because, you know, people are just really, you know, mo most people, you know, me included, we're all, you know, just afraid. And, um, you know, using that word afraid or scared is, um, you know, sometimes, you know, that word isn't necessarily, you know, used the right way because, you know, the whole difference between fear and courage is really just the action. It's as simple as that. So, for example, me not wanting to carry all this shit was fear. Once I decided to not be a fucking pussy anymore and just carry the shit that I needed to carry, all of a sudden that fear turned into courage. You know, and that goes with anything. That goes with absolutely everything. So, you know, eventually, once you do enough of these things that are considered fearful by most people in one shape, form, or another, um, then you become very courageous. So a lot of people out there, you know, that know me are just like, wow, you're so courageous. Wow, you're so ballsy. Wow, um, you get to do so much stuff. Wow, you motivate me to whatever. You know, I had one of my friends, like, literally hit me up and tell me that watching my channel grow which by the way it's been growing exponentially in the last like couple weeks um but just watching my channel grow so so much so fast in such a little time even though they've known me from the from even before i started doing a youtube channel that that has now inspired them to to do it and they know that's going to take a long time because they were there since even before day one but that's the thing you know it's realizing you know it's just um you know sometimes you know you just realize that the, the, at a different at a different time but all of a sudden just by my 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 regular action of just being me and doing me has uh has um you know given the confidence to some uh, to friends of mine and partners of mine out there to to follow their own dreams and do their own thing and and all that good stuff oof man my back is back is killing me right now okay so i might i might have some back problems by the end of the day but it's okay what are you gonna do it's all good it's all exercise uh, but anyways guys um some you know sometimes i turn this camera on and i'm just talking and talking and talking and i and i'm like damn am i even making any fucking sense then you know it's not it's not until i look back into into the video into the film and i'm like oh okay it, it makes sense it's good okay i'll publish it i'll put it up but a lot of times as uh as i'm doing a lot of these things that i do no matter what it is i'm doing whether i'm doing these kind of videos or whether i'm talking about something very serious that's the thing you know i, I really don't really know you know and and that goes for anything for anything anyone does out there a lot of times we're doing stuff and we we don't even uh we don't even think we're doing a good job we don't know how it's being received we don't um understand how it's gonna like pan out work out um any of this shit. but that's the thing you know when you are so fucking deep and hardcore into something all those things start melting away slowly but surely and uh, it's just a fact but when all of a sudden you know those things start really affecting you and they start causing you to pause and not do your thing anymore then those things are detrimental see look right now i don't even know what i'm talking about i think this this shit's so heavy is uh messing me up <laughs> but again today's monday motivation every time i do one of these monday motivations i'm always trying to up the ante one way or the other like i think you guys should be doing I think you guys should be also up in the ante, no matter what. Whew. Whew. Man, my back is fucking killing me. But anyway, so like I was saying, you know, sometimes you do bite off more than you can chew. And like right now, see, look, I'm like, I'm about halfway home and I had to stop real quick and, you know, put this down and um, you know take a quick break so that i can continue and why is that well ugh, it's because i know my fucking limits i know right now i fucking did it i'm doing a little bit more than what i should be doing but i'm like you know what fuck it i have to continue going you know why right now in this particular case at least for me you know let me show you how i motivate myself because we're all a little different you know but right now this bag 
that I'm carrying on my back is just as heavy as the one that my girl carries all around town sometimes. Like, so when she comes to visit me or whatever, she'll be carrying a fucking bag. You know, like the one that I have on my back right now. And uh, again, guys, she weighs like 90 pounds and yet she's carrying this bag. So if right now um, I'm hurting or I can't fucking uh, handle it, I gotta suck it up. You know why I gotta suck it up? Because if someone that weighs, I don't know, half of what I weigh can carry it no problem, then what the hell's my excuse? You feel me? Shouldn't be an excuse. And uh, that's it, you know? So, you know, that's the thing, you know? Like today's video, today's Monday motivation is basically about that. I know I was all over the place, but it's basically about the fact that, you know, we all have to, you know, just go out there and start doing things, okay? And uh, for example, I hope to God that my back is gonna be okay when I get home and that I might just need to do a little extra stretching and I'll be okay. But the reality is that, you know, sometimes we hurt ourselves in the process of trying to reach higher goals. And that's okay. That's all part of the process. Those things are supposed to help you continue to build and grow. By the way, look at all this art and photography and shit out here, huh? Pretty cool, huh? And those things are, you know, they either make you or they break you, literally, literally. I feel like I didn't put this on right. So, you know, that's why a lot of people just don't do anything because they don't want to be broken. And, um, you know, most people are just happy in their little comfort zone. And, um, but you gotta, you gotta like uh, move past that shit. You know what I mean? Honestly, if you ever want to accomplish any of those fucking dreams that you spent all fucking weekend talking about when you were hanging out with your friends this weekend or family or whatever, business partners, and you were like, you know, all doing cocaine. Because by the way, if anyone's ever done cocaine, all you, all you ever do is uh, want to do a lot of business deals and, and shit. But anyways, <laughs> but if anyone's out there that this weekend, you know, that has been, you know, talking about, oh, I'm going to set up a certain business or I'm going to start losing weight or I'm going to get uh, an education on this or I'm going to start coding or whatever the fuck it is or I'm going to hit on this girl or whatever. You, you, again, stop talking about it and start doing it and that's it. Okay, I mean, honestly, a lot of the reasons why I do these videos as I'm walking is because I'm not only walking, I'm not only talking the talk, I'm walking the walk. And this, I mean, this cannot be any more illustrative to, to everything that I do. It's as simple as that. I put myself a lot through a lot of hardships sometimes, literally just to prove a point to everyone else out there that it can be done, that it should be done. That you shouldn't, you know, there's no more, no more excuses, no matter what. And that's it. All right, I got to fix this real quick. Hold on. Woo. And that's it, guys. It's really, I mean, it's really that simple. You know, I'm making these Monday motivational videos. And a lot of times, I don't even know what to say anymore because... I feel like I'm just repeating things. I, I mean, I kind of understand what Gary V says, you know, when he's like, you know, he's kind of tired of repeating the same thing over and over again. But at the same time, he understands why he has to repeat the same thing over and over again. Because sometimes we got to listen to the same shit over and over again until finally it hits us. And you, you know, there might be some of you guys out there that listen to all my Monday motivational videos and hasn't motivated you to do shit. And all of a sudden, this one is the one that motivated you to do something. I don't fucking know. You know, that's why I fucking do these too. You know what I mean? I, I literally do it because of things like that. Um, I want to I wanna help you guys. Just like you guys have helped me. Um, I know it sounds crazy, but... But me being able to have an audience like you guys to talk to and make these videos for... Like gives me something to fucking wake up in the morning for. I mean, you know, there's a lot of things I wake up in the morning for. I fucking love my life. But this is one of the major components as to why I love it so much because of, because of you guys so it's like you know imperative to me to be able to pay this back some way or another and uh, that's why when uh, any one of you guys out there no matter who it is okay you guys know who you are a lot of times you know you guys are hitting me up on Instagram or discord and uh, 
you know, you guys even know. You guys even, you know, literally tell me. It's like, oh, I hope I'm not overstepping my boundaries or I hope I'm not uh, bothering you too much or texting you too much or anything like that. And it's like, you know, you're, you're not. You're really not. You know, that's why I have everything so open because I want to be able to interact with all of you guys, like for reals and, and in any way possible, you know. Um, and the fact that you guys also understand that I'm interacting with a bunch of you guys and uh, we're all helping each other here one way or the other and uh you know you guys get it you know you guys totally understand and it makes me feel really happy you know to be able to have this huge community that we've all in a way built together and we're all helping each other you know again you know just in the discord alone you know we get to do and share so much and learn so much from each other um in the comment section when we're talking to each other so many things it's it's really it's awesome i love it and um you know, to me, you know, when I look at someone like Gary Vee and I see this guy's running like a fucking multi-billion dollar company and yet he still has the time to answer all of you guys, so do I. Then that means that so do I, you know what I mean? Like, there's no fucking excuse. Like, um, I'm never going to be too big to not be able to, you know, stop for a second and take a picture or... Damn, I should have just fucking taken that. You know, um, man, it's the worst fucking time to be fucking caught here today. So heavy. But anyways, but yeah, I'm never going to be too big enough. All right, I'm going to take the fuck this shit. <laughs> but man, I love the cops out here. That was just a cop that was passing me, right? You know, it's like they all smile and they fucking nod and they're all chill. And they love, you know, like um, they honk, you know, when, I, when I'm, fo I'm filming sometimes they're honking in the background, you know? Anyways. It's a, little, it's, a lot, it's a lot different out here. <sighs> Love that. <laughs> Anyways. But yeah, you know, at the end of the day, you know, it's all about that. You know what I mean? Like, but why? It's because this is what I want out of my life. I want to fucking be on camera. I want attention. I want to be able to make movies and, and have fun with my life. Um, if all of a sudden I got like a fan that stops me in the streets and wants to take a picture or whatever It's like are you kidding me? Like, please let's do this. Or you're making my day, too And uh, and so on and so forth and someone texts me and sends me a message and they want to ask me about My day or they want to ask me a question about their life and how I can help or um, You know how I can help them move or how I can again all, all these are the things that I want in my life now It's not for everyone a lot of you guys that might not want that out of your life but these are the things that i want to do out of my life these are the things that motivate me and like how do i how did i do that well it all started by just starting to do this it all started by picking up the camera and starting to talk to the camera it all started by wanting to film things and edit things it all started with me just like it all has to start with you whatever the fuck it is that you want to do with your life you can do it but you got to do it it's not gonna it's not gonna be done for you all right no matter what it is you want you got to be able to you got to be able to do it you got to be able to know what you got to do to get it and if you don't then you got to start doing that homework to do it but you got to just got to start taking the first steps and i've talked about this many many times sometimes the first steps are just watching my videos or reading a, a blog or whatever it is but it's, it's just getting it's just starting to do something you know and that's it once you do it once you start with the first the hardest thing when you want to do anything no matter what it is the hardest oh, fuck. it's hot anyways whenever you're trying to do anything the hardest thing always the, the hardest thing period to do is always to just get started that's always the hardest part it's just getting started once you get started everything else is easy peasy Hola, ¿cómo estás? Sí, mucho calor. Bueno, it's just getting started. Once you get started, all of a sudden everything else becomes easy. Again, I don't want to sound like a broken record, but one of the one of the hardest things is really just getting started. Just you know, first doing those first uh, you know push-ups, doing those first steps, whatever it is that you got to do. But once you start doing it and you're doing something you love. You come across the situation I'm in right now where it's very hard to stop. In fact, it's so hard to stop that even as my camera turns off constantly, it's hard to fucking stop. It's just hard to, to, to stop. So with that, whew. all right. So with that being said, don't forget to please like, please subscribe, please share, and please start doing, okay?
just start doing. Love you guys. Don't forget to stay awesome. And I'll see you guys manana. Have an awesome Monday and have an amazing start to your week. Start doing. Please. Do it for, don't do it for me. Do it for Lambo. Do it for Lambo.